waiting for the stream to start. Will it be live? Will it be dead? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Okay. I guess it's started. Okay. Well, uh, I think the volume looks like it's okay. Check, check, check. Hey, one, two, three. Okay. It's a perfect time to start again. Some children riding around on fucking dirt bikes outside. I don't know what that's about. Time for more diodes. So this is part two of uh, the corn build stream. We're building a through hole model with um, chalk, kale chalk, low profile keycaps today. Um, right now we're just sticking diodes in on the bottom of our other half. I think the half we did a moment ago was the left half. So now we're doing the right half. We're just going to be jamming these little bad boys in there. And then we're going to solder them. Alright. And I popped the... I popped the chat window out so I can see it a little bit easier while I'm recording. So if you have any questions, feel free to attack me with them. And I did, the the other PCBs, the blue ones I was talking about, I did confirm that I did, I ordered the right ones, but looks like I'm going to have to get those replaced because those are the, there's a couple variants of this PCB, one of them, the one that I use is the Corn Classic, it's called, which actually it allows you to use chalk keycaps and regular MX key or sorry switches and uh, regular MX switches um, but it lets you get away without doing any uh, surface mount soldering um, so that's why we're able to use these through hole diodes for this but those blue ones ended up not being the right ones, so we'll have to get those replaced. But at least we got a couple of these nice white ones we can do. That ought to keep us busy for a while. And uh, again, what we're doing is taking the diode. Um, there's two pads on the, on the circuit board. The square pad is the one that uh, square pad is the one that the black, the marked side of the diode goes on, and the circular pad is the one that the unmarked side goes on. Okay, I'm just gonna stick. I'm I'm using all. <laughs> Sometimes you think you're going to use more than you do uh, for a previous project, and then you take off the s strip. These comes on, they come on two strips. You take off the strip, and then they get all mangled up like that. But it doesn't mean anything about the quality of the component itself. It's just those squiggly little legs, which are going to get lopped off anyway. So I'll just keep going. I 
turn the heat around in here so now it's sweltering instead of freezing. I'm gonna turn that down. things I think I got that. oh yeah oh yeah we got some more we don't have to worry This is the most fucking boring part of it. Just want to make sure you get the full experience of doing the whole damn thing. If you, uh, you love using surface mount stuff just leave a comment say hey motherfucker it's way faster I think it's way faster if you have one of those little like oven things but I don't know about by hand Where's the end of this damn thing? Oh my god, look at, oh, never have to buy them again. How many do we need? I'm not going to cut off 10 billion of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just cut off four then. look different ha 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 they're not they're all the same that's when you're dealing with items this tiny if you have a like pr difference in printing on the component that's like a difference of like a half a millimeter or less like you're still gonna notice it because the thing is so fucking small okay let's warm up the old soldering iron while that's cooking there And we're mounting these on the underside of the board because 
we don't want the little bumps of them to interfere with whatever travel of whatever keycaps we end up putting on here. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. Okay. And flip this over. Yeah, this is probably better direction. Yeah, looks good. This is like breaking my Mac. Too close? Oh, there we go. Cool. And this one, who knows? There'll be something happening there eventually. I promise. soldering irons ready when it's uh, when it's real hot they don't teach you that in school oh yeah <laughs> always put your fan on always put your fan on Better. No, we won't get poisoned. When you get poisoned, it's harder to make more keyboards. It's a good idea to check once you get to the last part where you've uh, set all the diodes in but you haven't soldered them yet to check make sure they might all match but you could have also put all of them in backwards so it's a good idea to just take a look These are good to go though. These are not too fussy. Pretty quick soldering job. Solder those legs together. That's about what's gonna happen here. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Okay, do these outer ones. 
first. And then get their little leggies out of the way. Just a couple more. And we're done with this bullshit. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's trim those leggies off. Get them leggies off. Goodbye. Goodbye. Out of the way. It does help to have like a magnet that you run over your workspace after you do this. Because I've got these little fuckers all over the place right now. And again, we want to just trim, trim the legs off. Do not uh, go any deeper than that. Leave the solder alone unless it's really like sticking out really far. Good. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Just seeing some stuff on here I didn't notice the first time around. Like, we've got these pads over here so we can access those, um, parts of the pro micro there's a ground pad led and then a um, voltage um, you know we can get our juice going to whatever we want and I'm I'm assuming that would just be if you're doing like some custom custom LED shit that's not soldered onto the board maybe another part of the case or something like that which is cool. I like when they do that so you can make your own weird stuff onto it. Pleased wants to go outside again. Okay. Okay. That looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Got them all. Nothing's loose and weird. That's good. Okay. Cool. All right. So you know what? Before we do switches, I'm gonna finish up our um, little set of components that go over here. Um, there's the we're gonna need. Actually, it's good. Kind of work your way out from where this is gonna be. So I'm gonna do the the stuff that's most jammed in here the first, like the. Um, OLED um, sockets right here. So this I'm not sure with these um, these different uh, these different type of sockets that I'm using today. I don't actually know uh, if the height is all gonna match up. So I'm gonna stick the Pro Micro back on, and then we're gonna just kind of check that out because I. You could make it too tall or too short. 
and the way mine ended up last time, the board, the PCB part of the screen was resting right on top of the uh, back of the Pro Micro, which to me for stability seems like a good idea. So let's see what we can do. So I got my little, I think it's still, fuck, I think it still has them. There we go, okay, so there's a little bag. We've got the blue kind, there's, there's like a, I think the two main types of at least this one, this type of LED or OLED screen uh, is called an SSD 1306. And um, <clears throat> these are the blue ones. There's two main kinds. I think the blue, like basically the, the parts that light up on the screen on this one are uh, blue, kind of like a light blue. Uh, and then they have ones that are white. And it seems like sometimes people charge more for the white ones. I don't know why. Maybe the blue ones just like a little cheaper to make. But um, these are not expensive. I think if you're buying them on if you're buying them on Amazon. They're about three bucks a piece. And if you're getting them on um, AliExpress, they're it's more like like a buck fifty or something maybe maybe two bucks with the shipping and stuff so okay so uh definitely want to leave the little screen there's like a little mini screen protector on here definitely leave that on until the last minute because you are working with a bunch of wires and scratchy bullshit here so make sure you're not scratching your screen up before you even finish um, be careful that this is, this looks like it's all one thing. Um, like it looks like this glass part is somehow affixed to the circuit board. It's, it's not, I mean, there's like, sometimes they'll put a little dab of like some kind of like crappy little glue there, but it, it I mean, it's going to come off. Like if you put any lateral pressure on this thing, it'll, it'll slide off. And then it's very easy to damage this part over here. Like if you put a little bit of pressure on that, it'll snap the gl glass because there's a, a, it's two thin ass pieces of glass. So you, it's very easy to break it. So just be super gentle with uh, when you're working with these. Um, so I've got, yeah. So the, the headers, just like the Pro Micros, the headers it comes with are these um, little square ones, um, which are good for most purposes. Um, but I would like to try to match this up so we get it a little nicer than that. Let's see if we can see that. So we're, we're basically trying to bridge this connection. There's these four solder points on the um, OLED screen. And then uh, we need them to somehow connect all the way down to these four spots on the board. So um, obviously you could just use four wires. That's fine. But you want some rigidity there. So we're going to try to use the sockets. Um, that should keep it from wobbling around all over the place. Um, so I don't think we're gonna use these. We're gonna see if we can do it with our new fancy boy uh, uh, Milmax sockets or whatever they're called. Again, I don't know if that's like the, I don't know if that's like a brand name or the name of this type. I have no fucking idea. So, um, so we have this, I wonder, hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know. Let's cut a... Oh my god, these little legs are everywhere. Oh <laughs> god. Okay, so we're gonna... There's another one. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna cut off so we end up with, like, a set of four of these things. That worked fine. That's good. 
So we got four of them, and we'll see. Uh, what was it? The gold. The gold ones on top. Okay. So if we set this in here, and then we do that. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. It's a little. Hmm. Huh. It'll work. It's just a. It's right on the edge. Cause if you can see, like the. Hmm, I wish I could show this a little better. But here, yeah, that's my pointing device. <sighs> these, um, each of these little connections here. These four. You see how the pin isn't, it's not really sticking out very far. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. I don't, I'm not really positive. But I think if we get enough solder in there, um, the pin is basically flush with these, uh, uh, whatever you call it, the sockets where you solder it in on the um, circuit board. So I think we can soak it in there and, and get it to stay. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> if, if that does work, this will be a nice height for this thing to be, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so this will be kind of a combination of stuff, I think. How do we want to do this? What I might do is just tape this screen. Um, use use a little bit of uh, like painter's tape, a blue painter's tape and stick that on again we got to be real careful not to like put pressure on this little screen because it wants to explode it really wants to explode Making shit up. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's about how I would do it. too much taping for it. I think that'll work. I don't want to sound too fucking confident there. Let's see.
Okay. Okay. Whew, that's better. Okay. It's not like. Eh. If you didn't know it was a goof job, then uh, I think you'd be real happy with it. I think that's fine, actually. So those are now. Is that too close? I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, we got those soldered, so that's hanging on there. That's good. I think that's I think that's plenty secure. You can see a little of the solder coming out the bottom, so that means we connected it well, I think. Um, these that's gonna work fine okay so now so now I think we can do do this taping <laughs> yeah. It's a little precarious. It's a little goofy. But but I think it'll work. Okay, well, it'll work. It'll work. Look at it. It's going to work. It's totally going to work. side go on those four right there I think with our protector, once we have our, you know, it's part of the case, the screen protector on there, it is going to be fine. Ooh, I don't want to take the protector off. Temporary protector. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's being held on. It's not, doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. That's normal, but... This is not going to pull out. No. I think we're good. Okay. So we have a removable screen and we have a removable uh, Pro Micro. We're in good shape. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side while I remember what the fuck we just did. Okay, that's gonna come out. Just be very careful with this. Like this, this wants to break very badly. Our other 
side. These fiddly little fucking pins, I swear to God. You look at them wrong. I'll stop putting these in and taking them out over and over again if it's not necessary. This can probably stay in there just fine. So we'll leave our Pro Micros in and we'll just take the OLEDs out. Okay, so this is the one that still needs to be done. Microscope. Microscope. Oop. Clicking. Gotta stop clicking. Okay. Here we go. That's probably good. Okay. So we're gonna open up the next bag with the OLED in it. that's a real legitimate way to say that word it's like when you say gifs your whole life and then somebody tells you it's gifs it's o-l-e-d dude okay so let, oh yeah we got to cut another little four four piece uh mill max thing I'm gonna cut that now get all these fucking diode legs out of my life what a mess all right okay cutting okay that went good that was good Successful. All right, so the silver ones go down, gold ones go up. Let's see, why does this one seem like it's way more interested in being connected? Oh, it's not, it's the same. So I'm putting some tape on the underside to <laughs> to push the uh, legs up through the holes a little bit. This is all probably crazy, but it works. And just keep that right there. We'll just do some quicky quick soldering and. That'll be that. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine if these are some big blobs. Because we're using them structurally. Good. Yeah. So we just did those four, this, these four, 
and now we're gonna do the underside. Anybody told you keyboards wasn't going to be fussy time, they were lying to you. Okay, that would be right there. You can see the, got the pins just barely sticking through there. Normally you want more than that, but this is absolutely going to work for what we're doing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. It's not going anywhere. Definitely not going anywhere. And it'll have a cover over it, so I think we're good there. I'm going to take that off because that's the breakable part, but I'm going to leave the pro micro on for now because I think I don't want to be messing with those pins anymore okay yeah that's good all right so next where are we at next okay so we've got a couple of little components we've got to um, get on here um, there's I know there's a there's a switch little reset switch and then there's the um, TRRS connector which is how we connect the two halves with the serial cable so okay so let's do reset switch first and our friends at Key Hive have given us a nice little bag of them. small very small unfocusable maybe on here huh? hello yeah there you go okay so this one I think you can just 
pop this this one doesn't have like a polarity or anything so you just put it in there and it should stay like it's got little clippy legs I don't know if you can see but it has its own little clippy legs on the bottom so we'll pop that in and then uh, just go ahead and solder it real quick can I just flip this over I think that's probably the whole goddamn point of that thing what do you know okay so yeah right right there okay so there where it says reset. That's what we're soldering right now. Okay. No problem. While I got this one clipped up, we'll just go ahead and do the jack as well. I think this one like clips in quite as nicely, but I think we can get it to stay all right. Um, the the jack is gonna go on the top of the PCB, and uh, yeah, you can bend like maybe one or two of the little legs just to make it. Uh, stick in there that's good i'll flip this back over okay I'm looking right there let's see there we go focus this at all Ooh. that's probably as good as it gets there we go so you can kind of see, this is from the bottom of the board. I'm just gonna solder. There are T, R, R, and S, tip, ring, ring, and sleeve. So there's four little points to solder there. We'll start with this one actually. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see. Can I? Everything's backwards. Okay, so now you can see we got the um, socket for the OLED. We've got the button, our little uh, reset button, and then our um, jack for the serial connection. Good job. Okay. So let's just do this other side. I might just slam jam both of these on and solder them both at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. This one's easy. This one stays in its little spot because its legs are kind of springy. This one doesn't always do that. Oh, also this one, the legs are really skimpy, so sometimes they get bent. So make sure they're straight before you put them in. Yeah, that should be good. Switch. Jack. Oh. 
Oh, I don't know if that... This one... Is that getting bridged or is that just... I think it might be... You don't want to accidentally bridge any of these things because who fucking knows if they're supposed to be touching or not. Usually they're not. Something is weird, that's the first part we'll look at, but I don't, even though it kind of looks like it, they're not actually uh, touching there. So, it should be okay. I'm going to snip the extra off of these reset legs, though, because that's sticking out pretty far. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. adjustments oh yeah okay all right all right so I'm gonna just check and make sure I'm not insane and I'm telling you the right thing but I think it's time to put some switches on there let's just look at that little build guide from the repo see what's up I think that's it though yeah I did all that did all that whoopity whoopity okay hooray okay no LEDs yeah okay uh yeah one other thing that I was thinking about was um actually not used any of these uh, kale chalk switches before um, and it I know you can use a switch plate but I don't I cannot imagine that it would really do all that much um, because these are so close to the circuit board anyway like I don't think it would actually provide any more stability. Like, I could see maybe having it to protect the rest of the board or something, but I really don't think... I really don't think it's going to do much of anything <laughs> to stabilize them, which is usually what you would want that for. Um, and also, like, the registration, these aren't going to get twisted because they're so low and they're so tight in there, so... I think we're gonna be good just having it like this. I haven't, I just haven't decided. I've got, like I said, this is the first time I'm using these. I, I bought a set of white, a set of browns, and a set of reds. So I don't know. I can, I can imagine using the white ones the most because I'm, I'm a clicky boy. Um, the brown ones. God knows, I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard to tell what what it's going to actually feel like. I don't know. This doesn't even feel bad to me, though. Usually I hate these red ones, but... 
don't know. Maybe I'll have one quiet keyboard in my whole life. Maybe this will be the one. Um, all right, let's see. Okay. So I guess it doesn't, I mean, hmm. I suppose having the switch plate would help to hold them all in while you're soldering them. Because I, I do see it. Like before it's soldered, it is, it can move a little bit. So I don't know. I don't really want to put one if I can avoid it. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a, I wonder, I really don't know. I mean, they're not gonna stay in enough. Without it, hmm. Ha ha ha. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't really want to have to make one for this, but maybe you will have to pause and do that. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, I guess that would be stupid to try to hold each of these on there perfectly. You would think it would fucking hold on a little better. They don't stick in there well enough without the plate, really. Okay, well. Time for a 3D printing side quest. Ready to fucking shift gears completely? Let's do it. stinking diode legs. These are super annoying. Do, 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 do. Like I said, these will go directly inside your foot. Oh, or under your fingernail. You know, they don't, they're not picky. for watching minuscule wire cleanup. Okay, let's see. Oh, let me, let me close every window on my computer. The Great British Bake Off. This was for printing on the big boy. I think we are gonna print on the little boy right now. Let's 
see. Hmm. Is it this one? There we go. CR10. Okay. Hmm. So, what I'm curious about is these little guys. I'm going to just pull this up so I know what I'm actually talking about. Uh... Okay. So the cases I made and the one I showed earlier um, is this one. Uh, this guy or gal, I don't know. M. Burroughs. Matthew Burroughs, okay. Uh, Matthew Burroughs uh, put this up. Uh, I like it a lot. I'm making a couple changes to it right now because uh, he was nice enough to provide the fusion files for it. Um, when I printed this out, the, the plates for it, these, uh, the switch holes in them were too small like for sure too small and even in the description i think he said he needed to file the switch plate holes down it they're way too small so when i even when i looked at so i had to file all mine down too which was in retrospect i should have just redesigned it and printed a new one but um like these the switch holes in this, I think even it, when you look at it in this, I know it's not a printer thing because when you look at it in the, um, you look at it in the fusion file, it's the wrong dimension for the hole. It's like 3.89 or something like that, or 3.81 or 3. Point, I'm sorry, 13.89 or something like that. And it's supposed to be 14 for the um, for regular Cherry MX type switches. It's just 14, 14 millimeters by full 14 millimeters. Um, so I, I'm not sure if these just came, at, but then when I looked up the uh, sizing for these switches, the the switch hole like basically the part that actually would set into a um uh switch plate is only it's 13.8 so i'm wondering if that dimension came from like whatever files this plate came from were intended for maybe the the chalk switches I don't know though. Um, so I'm thinking even, so what I did was I, I actually went into the fusion file and I designed a, um, you know, one with 14 millimeter holes, um, which is on here. Uh, but I'm almost thinking that I should print this original one, which maybe I just didn't realize what it was for but I don't think that's the case because I think in this build it's regular, you know, MX switches. Anyway, I think I'm going to print... I think I'm going to print these because these are closer to what I believe is the correct size. So I'm going to grab those files. Maybe I'll relabel those to say what they actually are. Pop 
those in. Turn everything else off. You can see this. Low security. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's try that. I'm gonna just print one at a time. So we will make new process, only the right one. Oops, god damn it. So we'll do the right one and then the left one. Right, left, right, left. Okay, we're going to save that. Prepare to print. So this, we're just telling the printer, uh, we're making the file to tell it where to go, how much juice to squirt out and make these bad boys. Um, yeah, okay. So it should, it will print that one first, then it will print this one. And that should Should give us enough time to see if that's good or bad. Actually, we should just print one and then let it cool down naturally because if we don't it's gonna curl and it's gonna be bullshit CR10 Right side chalk switch plate. Okay, and we're gonna go into secret world of where my 3D printers are. I'm gonna connect up. Start warming that bad boy up. Okay, upload. <laughs> Find our thing, upload it, three models, DR10, print files, corn, switch plate, chalk, right. No 
load it up. There's a printer. Maybe I can set it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. screen view 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 oh eh. forget it okay I love this color but I already did one with that neon yellow so I think I think, think we might switch it up. Let's do this nice yellow one. This is my nice, like, DeWalt yellow one. Okay, let's heat up the old extrude or the hot end here to ten. Try that. would be stunned if anyone's still watching this. Uh, okay. 
heating up. We will maybe turn this. Is that better? See the printing zone? That's heating up. I'll be back in two seconds. boy up a little bit. This one, fluorescent yellow. That actually goes with any of these keycaps. I guess it would go with the black ones. Hmm. This one is the shit. Never been able to find it again. Bone white. It's like this weird, like, tan, like, prosthetic arm color. It's like that cheap ass micro center brand, but it's fantastic. Those inland brand ones are like super hit or miss, but this one is fucking awesome.
see how that goes. Getting all the rest of that yellow stuff out of there. And I'm going to get a print file ready for the other half. Assuming that this one actually works correctly. We can go ahead and print that. stayed level. What do you know? It's a fucking miracle. That's a little high. That's good. I think this is gonna take super long time. Oh, 40 minutes, ha 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 ha. Maybe it will take a long time.
Okay. Well, uh, I will let you know what happens with this. I don't think this needs to be a video. Uh, so we'll come back. We will come back once these are printed and keep going. So, thank you for watching.